The Thirteenth Sunday After Pentecost, Year B, from the Epistle to the Ephesians. Be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his power. In the name of that Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The letter to the Ephesians speaks this week of putting on the armor of God. Armor itself is a portable version of the protection offered by a defensive wall, but you can't carry a wall. You can carry a shield or strap on a breastplate. The church is meant to equip the faithful not only with great, big, on-the-spot encounters with God, but also with lightweight tools for processing encounters with God and our neighbor out in the world. Solomon gets at this idea of portability as he is dedicating the temple, recognizing that the temple itself cannot contain God. Neither can the worship of God be contained within the household of David or within the tribes of Israel. Solomon prays, therefore, that anyone, anywhere, who prays toward the place of which God has said, My name shall be there, will have their prayers heard in heaven. Will God indeed dwell on the earth? asked Solomon. We see in Jesus the divine yes. We eat Jesus' flesh and drink his blood so that his body becomes our body. We likewise carry with us the words Jesus has spoken to us so that his spirit and life might become our spirit and life. Happy are they who dwell in your house. They will always be praising you, exclaims the psalmist. And this sounds like a call to spend as much time in church as possible. Until, in the very next breath, the psalmist adds, Happy are the people whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on the pilgrim's way. Should we stay or should we go? Yes, both, says the psalmist. For it is through assurance that the God of gods will reveal himself in Zion that we are able to praise and to find strength wherever our bodies happen to be. We come to the church for a glimpse, a taste of that revelation, so that the memory of that revelation, the insights we draw from that revelation, might strengthen us, protect us, wherever we might find ourselves. Let us then seek the strength of God, confident that we ourselves may grow strong in that strength, and that God's strength is enough to withstand the spiritual forces of evil in heaven and on earth, so that we might not only stand to minister, but also walk before God with all our heart. In the name of that God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.